Hello folks, um, just having one of those withdrawal symptoms about uh, playing around with the ink. Um, I watched uh, one of Robert's videos this evening uh, regarding um, how he got a kind of polished up on uh, a piece of PET, the uh, graphite, sorry, the, the, the conductive ink, and in a strange way I was kind of working on virtually the same thing. However, I've, I've kind of um, I've got a, my little uh, experiment to one side at the moment, but I was I had excess ink on my paintbrush and essentially I just thought well I need to get rid of it so I just plopped on some paper. Now I, I actually painted both sides and then I thought well you know just out of curiosity what would happen if I you know, touched each side with my Volvi and now I've got literally nothing. I mean obviously this is acting like uh, I would uh, suggest as a a super capacitor, not a super capacitor, a capacitor in its general point, but you can put a bit of charge to this. So this is a, a power supply unit that I got from Maplin. Um, not all that much actually, I think they're about uh, 13 UK Great British Pounds or whatever you want to call it. Now I'll add that to that, take them away, put these together. There you go, it's holding a bit of a charge. I know that I've got this the wrong way around, but it's just shown in principle that it holds a charge. However, obviously, like you know, keeping the theme, let's, uh, let's just do a bit of a nutty thing. I've just uh, dampened this uh, same process, um, kind of using what Robert suggested earlier. Um, however, I just used the same piece of paper, just folded up and rubbed it hard, and um, then it kind of just went into a nice sheen. Um, dampened it up. There you go, I've got 1.2 of a volt hovering around. This can go up higher. And then if I scoop this up, stick some juice in it, without obviously electrocuting myself in the process. Remember the short arms, I think we seem to get them in the way all the time. Right. So then if we pop that there. Okay, this was definitely holding a little bit of the, I think the difficulty that I've got is trying to get a decent enough connection. I mean this was there's no proper way that I've done this. I mean this is purely just hacking hacking through. But it goes and shows in principle that just a piece of paper with rubber ink can just have energy in it and store it. Um, obviously there could be all sorts of applications for that. Uh, God knows, I mean you could make a huge tubular painted on capacitor just by painting the ink uh, both sides. So now I might just get a piece of A4 and just paint it just for the fun of it and see what happens and see if I can get some better connectivity. In fact, I'll actually do that now. So um, I'll post this video now and um, hopefully by the time you watch that I'll come back with another video. Thanks.